What a setting. What a scene here to close out 2022. A triple header on Fox, and we get it started with UConn and Xavier. And it is the Huskies who control the tap. Jackson thought about it. Hawkins rarely thinks about it. He just shoots it, Donnie, and he can make him at a high cliff. Coming at you. Get downhill. Over the top, there's Fremantle again. Patient, and he scores it. He's also fouled. Everywhere, not just in the post. Here's Colby Jones let one fly from deep, and he knocks it down a 44% three-point shooter. Before coming to Connecticut, kicks it out to Caravan, and the freshman knocks down the triple. They're giving him that shot. He's missed a couple already, but Andre Jackson knocks that one down. Really unforced turnovers. We've seen a couple of those already now for Xavier. Three battle with the answer. And knows a couple of these young Huskies. Newton for three from the wing. This is an equal opportunity offense that Danny Hurley has out here. And boom, that's a tough shot. Gobble it up. Out to Nunji. Got it. Xavier is playing with some confidence. They have to keep doing it. It's more of the same is what you want from them. Sonogo, great footwork finishing with a left hand. Kiki Tandy <laughs> filling it up from deep. <laughs> Boom, threads the needle. Nunji counted and the foul. Huskies on the run. Little disheveled. Hawkins share the ball, man. Wow. And it finishes with a Newton triple. Sonogo catches inside, and he finishes. Much, but a little bit bigger Sonogo. It's a different matchup with Nunji down there. Sonogo 10 points. Jones dials up a three. And Diara steps wow. out and quiets the crowd. You know, Sean Miller had the use it or lose it timeout. I'm surprised he didn't go ahead and take it there. And a big swing and momentum. A lead hits the three. And UConn takes the lead into the locker room. Sean Miller talking to... Here is Jackson. They continue to give him that look. And Donnie, that's the third one he's hit. When do you step out and guard him? Inside. Hunter. Yes! Looking for another assist. Well, a hockey assist and a big free by Naheem Ali. Xavier has shown all season long. UConn is another willing passing team. Jones mm. drives and gets it to drop off the back of the iron. Shot clock dwindling. Calcaterra, he's a three-point shooter, and he proves it right there. Shooting over 50% from deep this year. That's his first one today. Nunji mm. battling to the rim. And you want to keep it under that 11 Wide open, Nunji flushes it down, we're tied again. Boom has also been quiet. Here he goes to the rim, he's making noise there. Boom, driving, boom, through the contact, counted in a foul. Here he is defending Newton. And then a steal, Jones, and the finish. Fremantle dials it from deep and knocks it down. Terrific player. alley -oop. And somehow <laughs> Sonogo just got enough of the fingertips on it. Jackson hits a three, his fourth of the game. And it's been a back and forth affair from the start. Wow. The long arms of Jackson. Euro step. How pretty was that? How about that show of athleticism? Xavier had a 10-point lead in the first half. UConn a 7-point lead in the second half. What a reverse. Colby Jones. And his Fremantle steps to the line. Well, Adam Kunkel just told everybody to get up and make some noise, and they're listening to it. And there was a technical foul assessed to UConn. That's what prompted Kunkel telling the fans to get up. Again, this is when we talk about 
being, you know, emotion, having emotion versus being emotional. They do. Against Nunji. Powering it up and in. Big bucket for Adama Sinogo. Oh, so efficient. Here in Sule, boom. He'll stop and pop. Offensive rebound. Jones puts it back home. Great recognition by Jones. Newton in foul trouble. Couldn't jump and contest. Easy layup. Timeout, Connecticut. The Huskies call the dogs off, and Xavier is going to pull off the upset. And hand Connecticut their first loss of the season.